to be honest honestly, how many dresses is enough dresses? Cuckoo, my name is Anastasia and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about my favorite, absolutely necessary, very important form of happiness, dresses. There is absolutely nothing new in here unless the dress that I've got is a replacement for something else because I've decided that in this video all of the dresses must be in my wardrobe for at least one year or preferably more than that. The dresses we are going to be covering today are A. Daytime dresses, B. Summer dresses. If you would like for me to do like a nighttime dress version or maybe like a full appropriate dresses for the into the season, leave me a comment down below saying that and other than that Let's get into the video. The first dress we are going to be talking about is surprise, surprise, the one I'm already wearing, and it's obviously a baby doll dress. Well, I'm a neutral girl, so for me, the white one is an obvious choice, although I do think that the black one would also look really cute. And this one I have been having for two years. I got it from AliExpress. I don't tell anyone, but I'm actually wearing it backwards. I accidentally left a lipstick mark at the front of the dress, but I really wanted to film it that day, so I was like, okay, let me try to move it back to front. And and I just never went back to wearing it the other way around. I personally think that baby doll dresses and Mary Jane shoes are a match made in heaven, so you know, who am I to say no to that? The Mary Janes I'm gonna be using are from Open Revival. Ideally, I would like to support them by adding a bag with a single texture, meaning like uh, the patent black one or maybe a tweet white one or other way around, but I do not have any bags in either of those finishes. So I was thinking maybe, you know, a little half moon moment from Charlie's and Case would be a nice addition. Or we can also try like, you know, this shoulder one I got from Zerina. I think I'm gonna go with the Charles and Kate. So this is the first dress and the first outfit and we are ready to move on to the next one. If this is not giving you Jacqueline vibes, then I don't know what it is. So this dress I also grabbed from Aliexpress. There is a store there called Tangada. I do really enjoy their summer dresses, sun dresses, you know. It's a mix of linen and poplin, which makes it, you know, perfect for the summer and from the front, if your average mini dress with a nice flowy skirt, I do like a bold neckline. However, the start of the show is a back and the sides of the dress. I don't know, I absolutely love it. I do think that everyone and anyone need to have at least one beige dress in their wardrobes. I'm not going to be doing anything revolutionary with it in terms of styling other than doing what I love the most when it comes to summer dresses and you know what I'm going to say, right? So say it with me. Right. Brown accessories and basket bags. So these sandals are from h and By the way, I'm linking everything that I'm showing you in the description. And if the items are too old or not available anymore, I will leave the tips. And that being said, the basket bag I'm using is the one from Mango. Got it in the beginning of the summer. And this one is my most hardworking bag. Uh, during this season. It's definitely working some overtime hours for me. This was the second dress and the second outfit and we are moving on to the third one. This whole video just won't be right if I didn't include at least one sundress. This one I've got from the same store as the previous dress, meaning Tangada on Aliexpress. I feel like this one is probably my most worn summer dress because I find it very forgiving as well as very flattering. First of all, it's very flowy, you know, Easy, breezy, you can wear it in whatever weather. And that being said, this summer in Belgrade is like exceptionally hot, so that's a plus. I also love that it has like this kind of empire waistline, meaning if you're having a food baby, going through a period or whatever, you're not feeling comfortable with yourself that day, this dress is a winner. I think we're gonna do another easy one here. I'm gonna go for these Amazon sandals. Let's do it easy. Let's do an old black one. And uh, this bag I got from by the brand in City. Once again, it's obviously due for the Bottega one. Uh, I don't think they're doing anything anymore, but I know that H and that does. So I link that one in the description below. And that would be the third dress and the third look. I know I said no new dresses, and if you're watching my channel regularly, you know that I've got this beauty from Rehose only this summer. However, I used to own the very similar one, just in a slightly different color, and it was a size too big for me, so my mom basically ended up stealing it from me. By the way, tell me in the description below if your mom also steals stuff from you, and not the other way around. But anyway, 
The dress is truly hers. I absolutely love this kind of mermaidy white dove vibes for the summer. You can style it for the parties in the city. You can wear it during the daytime for lunch and brunch as well. Maybe a little bit more dressed up ones, but still. You can also take it to vacation. It looks great on the beach, you know, with the sunset as a background for a nice little dinner. What I love to do for the nighttime, evening time styling is adding a nude heel because it kind of elongates your lap while not taking away from the dress. And I do want the dress to be stylish the show. As for the back, you know, I absolutely love this Aliexpress clutch, which by the way, those are also from Aliexpress. I feel like it adds a little something something to each and every outfit, and if you don't like the pin, you know, you can always make it into a regular clutch. And it was fifth, fourth, I believe it was the fourth look. I should have probably steam it, but Oh well, so need to dresses. I do not think they're only reserved for the winter season and moreover I do find this kind of form-fitting body conscious dresses especially great for the summer season because you once again you can dress them up, you can dress them down, you can wear them to the office, you can wear them to the party, you can wear them to lunch, dinner, coffee store, you know, whatever. The possibilities of styling with these ones are endless and I especially do enjoy this particular style. I got it from the same Timbada store on Aliexpress and I love it so much that I do have it in both beige and black color. And I especially love this kind of almost halter neck, but not truly neckline because I do find it more flat on your me than the usual v-neck style when it comes to the figure hugging dresses. And the back, like, I don't have a little commotion for the back. They're kind of seeing a thing here. I do enjoy an open back for this kind of dress. I think let's make this one into the full-on office look. Slim back heels. Those are kitten heels, making them, well, you know, comfortable and walkable. I got them from Mango just recently. I also think we need to add a blazer. The blazer is from the men's section of Mango. And for the back, we're gonna go matchy-matchy, all neutral, all beiges and do this little box bag that I also got from Mango. Yes, I do like Mango, as you can probably see. But anyway, this was the fifth dress and the fifth outfit where we're moving on to the next one. This is my you need to leave the house in five minutes till you want to look cute. However, you need to be comfortable and you will be walking a long way around kind of dress. That's a long description. Anyway, I got it from Amazon. When I was getting it, I was thinking it's a zero on budget. And that is how I usually go about styling. So, you knew it was coming, I knew it was coming. Thumb sandals. Another thing that makes this dress perfect is that it goes greatly with both beefing socks and thumb sandals, or these thumb sandals, which are my go to options for when I need to walk around a long period of time because they are insanely comfortable and I got them from Mango. And for the bag, this one is another favorite of mine. I got it from the brand Zarina. Simple toes have been my recent obsession. But that being said, this was the sixth dress and the six outfits, or so I believe it to be. <laughs> Once again, it would be a me video if I didn't include at least one sleeve dress, so I've settled down on this black one that I got from Aliexpress. First of all, I do really love how it fits me and the quality of it comparing to the price because it's very inexpensive, and I also used to have this dress in blue color, and it was great, I just didn't wear it a lot, so I ended up giving it away to a friend of mine. But anyway, I do not need to tell you how universal they are, like I can do a ballet flat here, I can do a loafer here, I can do a kitten heel here, a thong sandal, I can even do like a chunky sandal here, and it would look nice, like it is that universal. However, one of my favorite ways to style a dress is to do matching of one accessory and a contrast of the other one, so that would be a matchy shoe contrast contrast back or a matchy back contrast shoe. We are doing the latter and those little sandals are from Mango. They're insanely comfortable. And yes, I do have a whole lot of shoes from Mango as well because I do feel that those are the most comfortable and the best quality shoes in terms of the mass market. For the back, uh, I'm gonna do this little box baby that I got from TJ Collection years ago. My most hardworking bags ever. If I'm out and about and it's a night time, chances are I'm with this bag. But yeah, this was outfit number seven and we have only one more to go. 
We are finishing on the very much so unexpected note because while well, yes, I'm not a powerful girly, you can probably tell, however, from time to time I do enjoy a little bit of color here and there, and if I do, I'm usually going for either blues or greens, so this one from Rehoas is a great example of that exactly. And by the way, I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned it with the previous Rehoas brand, but I'm working with them on Instagram, so I do have a 20% off code, which goes as an Asta, so, you know. Also, in terms of this dress, I do really enjoy the silhouette, because I love my bit of a puff slip. Honestly, every, anything that kind of broadens my shoulders, because uh, in terms of my figure, it kind of balances me out. So that's always a yes in my books. I also absolutely love this little kind of lacy detail on the hem of the dress because in my humble opinion it instantly elevates the dress and makes it so much more interesting and almost you know victorian but make it minimal and obviously you can do ballet flats or a sandal or even a birkenstock but i want to do something slightly a little bit more unexpected with this dress and clash it with a preppy aesthetic hence we're going to be doing a little chunky penny loafer situation that and the penny loafers are got from alex Press and this little shoulder messenger style bag. Uh, it was by the brand Authentic Factory, but I'm pretty sure they are close. So, you know, I will. Like, honestly, mixing styles is one of my favorite things ever in terms of fashion. However, it's a little bit more difficult when it comes to the summer season because, obviously, in, in order to mix something, you need to, you know, a good amount of uh, different elements to the outfit. And during the summer, it's a little bit difficult because it's a little bit too hot. However, sometimes you still can work out something like this outfit because I think it instantly kind of catches your eye because it's something that makes sense, but it's also something unexpected. That's gonna be it for this video. Subscribe if you're enjoying the vibes, and I'll see you in the next one. So, bye! -bye.